Judy, what's important about the anti-fracking work and the Citizens Initiative in Youngstown? Well, it's important for everybody to be able to have clean water and air and land. Um, I think that's our right to have it. And I don't think corporations should be able to come in and steamroll over that right uh, just to make a profit. And that's what's happening. They are um, completely and utterly profit driven. And <coughs> the ODNR, who permits them, uh, they're largely funded by the permitting process. So we have an agency who's supposed to be an overseer, and instead they're making money off of it, which is an obvious conflict of interest, or fox guarding the hen house type thing. Um, so, as far as passing the initiative, I don't know, I guess uh, Ferris would tell you, Attorney Ferris would tell you that it's unenforceable, and it may be, but uh, I guess history has shown, at least for a number of towns, that uh, big oil and gas is reluctant to come in and challenge it because they don't want to be seen as major bullies. You know, they have the uh, advertisements on TV with the lady saying, you know, we need this for our progress and our energy, and she's so friendly, and they play the friendly music. And then they come in, and they would ruin it with, like, no, you guys don't have, you know, inalienable rights, and we'll prove it to you because we're going to sue your butts. And they probably don't want that image, so that's, I think, that's what I'm counting on anyways. Um, is that they won't come in and, and challenge it. They have in some communities, but some communities have gotten away with it. And I think if enough communities adopt a Citizens' Bill of Rights type thing, or home rule, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's going to make an impression. I don't know how many will have to be adopted before it makes an impression, but I think our goal right now is to slow things down things are happening too rapidly and if we can slow things down that's a start okay great thank you